Hi Pisces and welcome to your daily reading. Welcome to Pisces Tarot and Advice. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. I hope you like it here and you consider subscribing and coming back for more. Thank you as always for taking the time to show support. Everything you do makes a big difference. A like, a share, a comment on a video, subscribing obviously. Special thanks to my members for taking it that step further to show support. Really appreciate you. Take the messages that resonate with you as they resonate with you in your situation. And feel free to check out any other video on the channel that you're drawn to. Um, I don't really control what comes out um, in these readings. So if something just doesn't make sense to you or you're just not interested in that particular topic, then clearly that's not a reading for you that particular day. And that's okay, that can happen. These are general. Um, but in that case, what you would do is just have a look on the channel and see what stands out to you, right? Just if you come to the conclusion that, you know what, this makes no sense to me or not, I'm not interested in this topic, um, just pause it, take a deep breath, set the intention to be shown where your messages are, and then just have a look on the channel, okay? And I guarantee at least one video will stand out to you. If it's the thumbnail image, if it's the title, something about it will stand out to you. And that's how you get your messages, okay? It's good practice when it comes to connecting with your higher self, with your spiritual team, and listening to your intuition as well. All right, Pisces, all that being said, let's see what we got going on for us today. And stay tuned, I'll be doing your mid-monthly reading shortly. Okay, Eight of Swords, being in your head about something, being afraid of making the wrong decision, or feeling stuck in a situation, but it's more of an um, analysis paralysis kind of stuck. could also be where um, there's an easy way out of something, but we don't see it because we're kind of in too deep. So let's see. Daily energy and advice for Pisces placements. What do they need to know? Okay. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. It's a bit surreal. I'm so happy. I'm so excited and I'm so grateful for the community that we're creating here. And obviously that wouldn't happen without each and every single one of you that shows up and subscribes. So thank you in advance. And um, I'm gonna do a little surprise for everyone. I haven't decided, I got a couple ideas I'm, I'm working with. When we get to that milestone to 10,000 subscribers, um, I got a couple ideas how I wanna celebrate with you and give back, right? Okay, so watch this space. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is, um, I'm just getting an energy of curiosity of what else is out there, wanting to expand your horizons, wanting to try something new, wanting to figure out what new you could try. So you could be looking into starting a new hobby, um, something new caught your eye, you're curious about something. It's also an energy of expectation. You know something good is coming. You know something's going to reach you. It's a matter of when, and you're just kind of keeping an eye on your inbox. You're keeping an eye on the post box, you know, the mailbox or that kind of energy. All right, let's see what we got. So in the current situation, here we go, two of wands and the five of wands. In the current situation, you're choosing to step away from either what everyone else is doing because you want to do things your own way. Um, this could be taking a step back from a group, a team, an environment. Um, if it's a one-to-one -one dynamic, it's it doesn't gel anymore. You know, if it's a friend or a business partner or even a romantic partner, it's like you don't have fulfillment there anymore. Um, something that has gone as far as it can go and now it's almost an annoyance or a setback or something that holds you back, right? Something that just brings chaos and drama to your life or gossip. Um, you basically, you no longer identify, gel with, vibe with, whatever words you want to use, um, a person or a group of people or an environment um, or a type of, of, of work, job, industry, a way of making money, right? And that's what's kind of got you curious about what else is out there. 
So this could be where you're like, you know what, I feel like I've gone as far as I can go in this job. I don't particularly like this environment. They're not really my kind of people anymore. I don't really like the culture anymore, whether that has been, whether something recently has changed and you just, you just that's it, it's done for you. You don't, you don't feel it like you belong there. You don't feel like you fit in there. You don't feel like you um, share the same goals and purpose, right, with whatever it is or it's something that has changed recently in the sense that it kind of just went downhill or you've changed, right? Okay, let's see, and the challenge. We have the Queen of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, something just really disappointing, something really disappointing. And it has to do with gossip, other people, your environment, and it's just like tension, petty fighting, arguing. And if it's not necessarily gossip, it's where people are so interested in a particular topic and they're so invested and they only talk about that and you're like, I don't care about that though. Can we talk about something else? And it's been going on for some time because you've been feeling, either you've been feeling lonely when you're technically part of this group or this couple dynamic or this partnership, but you've been feeling lonely. You've been feeling like, when is it gonna be my turn or um, are we ever going to go back to the way things used to be, right? Feeling isolated, feeling singled out, or just, you just don't fit in, just not happy, you know? And it looks like you're finally at a point where you're saying, you know what, I'm going to choose something different for myself. I don't know if this was like a trial run, some big change happened, you gave it some time, to see what's up, you know, to see how things are gonna go. You tried to keep an open mind and, and just be hopeful in the situation. And you've reached a point two, three weeks later, five weeks later, or months, right? When you're saying, you know what? I've given this enough time. I know what it is and it's not for me. What's on the mind? King of Cups, King of Pentacles. We've been seeing these two kind of face off in readings recently. And this is where you're saying, I no longer align with this person, with this group of people, with this job, with this type of work, with this place, with this community. I align with something else now, okay? My match of a like-minded person or like-minded people is somewhere else. But if this is on the mind, you're either more um, aware of what that is for you, and so you're now starting to search specifically for what you know is for you, um, or you've already come across it and you can compare the two and go, yeah, I align with that, I no longer align with this. Okay. And the foundation, seven of swords, seven of wands. Yeah, whatever it was, this is something where you told yourself you wanted to leave the second things turned or changed. There was a change, okay? Um, and you wanted to leave the second that happened. And you had to talk yourself into staying and talk yourself into not doing anything rash and not being um, too abrupt, right? You've had to talk yourself into allowing things to unfold, trying to go with the program, the new program, really giving it a chance because you really tried to be fair to the situation, okay? So you kind of kept yourself from leaving a while ago because you wanted to give something a fair chance. Um, and for others of you, this is, yeah, there's a lot of five of wands, seven of swords, there's a lot of pettiness, there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of lies and people lying to your face and two-faced people and and you're just like, these are not my people. These are not my people anymore. I don't, I don't do this. I don't like this. I don't have an interest in this. And for some of you, this is where someone new came into the mix, kind of got manipulated the people already there and genuinely intentionally started to try to push you out because you make them look bad. If it's a manager, if it's a new coworker, if it's a new person in the community, okay? They basically have been trying to make you uncomfortable to push you out. And the disappointing bit is that people you used to work with, be friends with, get along with, they were your people, they were your community, they didn't see this. 
They didn't realize the manipulation. And they just kind of let this person get away with it. No one really stood up for you. No one really had your back. But you know what, Pisces? Don't try to hold on to something, someone, a dynamic or a place that does not want you there. Why would we do that to ourselves? If we're not wanted, okay, I'm going to go over there where I am wanted, right? Don't, and I know it's easier said than done because it is disappointing, it is disheartening, it is heartbreaking. But why would we try to fight to stay in a place where we know we're not wanted? What's going to come from that? you know and I feel like that's also been the realization that you've had recently to where you came to, to the conclusion with the two of wands of you know what I'm gonna go see what else is out there in the recent past we have the lovers and the hermit yeah look something new I didn't draw on these and I really don't want to so um, someone new came on the scene okay and as a result, it left you feeling alone or singled out or isolated or you, you don't fit in anymore, okay? You don't like what's going on. You don't resonate with what's going on. You just don't want to be associated with that. And again, I feel like you gave it time and you tried to get with the program. You tried to get with the new program, right? But it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, so what's going on today? We have the Ace of Pentacles, he's your new offer. Queen of Wands, from someone that is very interested in you, to be with you, to work with you, to be friends with you, to collaborate with you. Three of Pentacles, yeah, what I just said. The card of teamwork, collaboration, people coming together towards a common goal, everyone working towards the common goal, shared interests, shared values, beliefs. These are your people. These are your new people. Okay? And you, you're you looking and you're going to find this. You're looking and you're going to find this. So you may be paying a fee to join a new club, to join a new gym, to join a new organization, however that resonates. And those are your people. That's your place. Okay? Or you're getting the money and you can move and this new community your new neighbors and all that you just you just gel man you're just like-minded individuals or you get that confirmation of hey yes you got that job you got that place you got that loan that allows you to make the changes you need to make to get yourself in a new place to get yourself associated with new people we have the magician with seven of pentacles hard work paying off but with the magician this is where we incorporate everything like we observe what's happening in the 3d but we also follow our instincts our intuition we observe the flow of energy right we observe that we're being pushed out of a situation we observe that we're being made very uncomfortable right and typically when that happens it's a case of rejection it's God's protection and you kind of went with it instead of against it, okay? And that's what's gonna pay off for you. This is new job, this is training, this is learning new, th new things, new skills, um, or perfecting existing skills and talents. And the strength card, regaining your strength, your confidence, your independence, feeling like yourself again. A Leo could be significant here with the Queen of Wands as well. They're showing you the way. They're putting you in touch with the right people. Or they're making you these, um, these offers. They're extending these invitations to you. Or they're facilitating your entry into a group, an association, a club. And instead of heartbreak and disappointment and you're walking around with your head down because you don't feel seen, wanted, appreciated, loved, respected. You don't feel like people want you there because that's a horrible feeling, isn't it? And instead of that, by aligning yourself with the right people and the right places and the right circumstances, you can walk with your head held high, you're confident, 
you know what you're doing, you're appreciated, you're valued, you're feeling like you're a strong member of that community, you're a strong member of that place, group, association, team, or the person you're with, the person you're next to, the person you associate with really values you. You're a big part of their life, right? So, it looks like it's time for finalizing something that's been in, in progress for some time, right? A transition that you kind of knew was coming, because again, I feel like you wanted to leave the second whatever this change was, wh whenever this person came in and you saw how other people reacted and responded, whether this is someone came in and changed how you do your work, like a new manager and all of a sudden they have new rules, they have new expectations, they have new demands, or if it's someone in the team that came in and kind of just changed the, the whole tone, it made it all clicky and whatnot. Or even a, in a relationship where someone is now paying more attention to what other people are saying, they value other people's opinions, strangers' opinions over your own. And you're like, well, you know. So it's been going on for some time. And you, I feel like deep down you knew this was coming. You knew this was going to happen. And you tried to see if you can adjust to the new way. Right? Because it's like, I don't really feel like dealing with a lot of change right now. So I'm just going to try to adjust. Maybe I like it. I don't know. And it turns out, you know what? No, you don't. So now you also have that confidence of, I gave it time. I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I kept an open mind. Definitely, this is not the place for me. I know that now for a fact. And that also gives you your confidence back and some strength in the situation. Let's see. Oracle advice for Pisces. And it makes a big difference, you know, the people you're around or the places you hang out in or the, the, the groups and associations we're a part of, right? Because if we're trying to fit into the wrong box, we are going to feel like there's something wrong with us, right? And we're, we're just, it's not a pleasant feeling, let's just be honest. Whereas if you instead focus on finding the right box that's that's just right for you that's where you shine because you're seen you're valued you're appreciated you're respected you shine in a very simplistic way that's the best way i can explain it oh my god look at this 26 where you need to be acknowledge how you're feeling have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing the best possible outcome for all involved so this is your confirmation Okay, Where, wh wherever you're thinking of going, and if you don't have something specific in mind that you wanna head towards, you know you don't wanna be there. You know you wanna leave something or someone behind. And that's exactly where you need to be, what you need to be doing at this time. That's your confirmation. Unexplained wonder, 44. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. So whatever this is that you've been contemplating, imagining, trying to figure out, curious about, unexplained wonder, right? Wondering what else is out there? What else could I do? Um, where could I go? It's all coming together to you. It's all coming together and the solution is coming to you now, okay? Push to surface, 27. You may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So it's time to break out of the box that you don't fit in anymore. You don't fit into it and that's okay. That means you've grown and you've changed. You know what, that's what that is. There's nothing wrong with you. Quite the opposite. You've grown, you've changed. It's a natural thing. It's, that's a natural transition onto bigger and better. Okay, and in a new environment, in a new dynamic, in the right environment and dynamic circumstances, you come alive again. There's that curiosity, there's that interest, there's that childlike wonder, there's new experiences, new adventures, new ideas, new inspiration, you come alive again. It's a beautiful thing. 
and setting up parameters. 43. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships, and that's what it is, and you're getting the confirmation that they worked for a time, they no longer work. Whether there was a change within you, and now you no longer associate or align with these people, circumstances, places, job, whatever, or there was a change in the environment that actually reflected to you that you need to move on, you're, you're ready to grow, you're ready to change, you're ready for new things. And the way that feels is you're uncomfortable in this dynamic. You don't like it, you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel inspired, you don't like what you do anymore, you don't feel like you can just be yourself around these people, you know, you're just uncomfortable, you feel constricted. Whereas in the right place, you shine. You shine. You come alive. You can breathe again. So, Pisces, that is what I have for us at this time. Really nice reading. I hope it makes sense to you and I hope it resonates. Let me know what this is, if it does resonate for you. And if not, again, have a look on the channel. Your messages could be in a different reading. Stay tuned for the mid-monthly check-in. Uh, really looking forward to your comments, okay? Because it's, it's a beautiful time of transition. And when we come to this place of embracing that, you know what, I want to be somewhere else. I'm not sure where. I'll figure it out. When we come to that place, it's very healing. It's a very restorative. It's a very empowering place because we come alive again, right? So I'm going to leave that there. I really hope it helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, Pisces.